This is Teachable Moments with April podcast, and you guessed it, I'm your host, April. If you're a returning listener and a part of the Teachable Moments with April podcast family, welcome back. For those of you who are checking me out for the first time, well, hello and welcome. To everyone listening, look for the Teachable Moments that are all around you. Enjoy. A prayer for wisdom and spiritual discernment. Heavenly Father, I come to you because I need wisdom that only your spirit can give me. Help me to lean not solely on my own opinions and my own understanding, thoughts, or dreams. I need godly, not earthly wisdom, Lord. Please supply me in knowledge and truth as I battle these tough decisions and uncertainty. Father, open my eyes to the barriers holding me back from spiritual progress and help me to walk confidently as I discern the next steps I need to take in my life. In your Son, Jesus Christ's name, I ask. Amen. So our next uh, case study for Chapter 3, Territorial Spirits by C. Peter Wagner, is Argentine Spirits. Among my personal circle of friends, the one who has had the most experience in dealing with Territorial Spirits is Argentine Omar Cabrera, which is a pastor of the Vision of the Future Church. Now, a unique feature of his church is that it is decentralized meeting in 40 or more cities simultaneously throughout the central part and the search, uh, sorry, the central region of Argentina. Now, Omar and his wife, Marfa, travel 7,000 miles a month, mostly by automobile, leading the church, which uh, the numbers uh, are somewhere between, or somewhere between 90,000. Now, how does he move into a new location for his church? Okay, his general practice after the potential size is selected is to check into a hotel and seclude himself alone in a room in prayer and fasting. It usually takes the first two or three days to allow the Holy Spirit to cleanse him, to help him disassociate himself, and to identify with Jesus. Now, he feels he leaves the world. Okay, these are his, this is his phrase, and is in another realm where the spiritual warfare takes place. Now, the attacks of the enemy at times become fierce. He has even seen some spirits actually in physical form. His objective is to learn their names and break their power over the city. Now, he usually takes five to eight days, but sometimes it may take longer. Makes sense, right? Once he spent 45 days in conflict, Wow, but when he finishes, people in his meetings frequently are saved and healed even before he preaches or actually prays for them. I have previously described the tremendous growth of churches in Argentina today and the power evangelism that is accompanying it. Now, I have talked for hours with friends like Omar and Edgardo uh, Silvoso. Uh, listening to them analyze what seems to be behind the extraordinary moving of God in that nation. Since the Falkland Islands War of 1982, now one hypothesis, okay, relates directly to the type of cosmic struggles I'm describing here. Back in the days when Juan Perón ruled the country, <clears throat> he used as his chief advisor which was a male witch named Jose Lopez Rega, who was a high priest of a certain strain of spiritism. Now, Savoso reports that Lopez Raga uh, was the de facto power, okay, which was the, the warlock or the male witch uh, of the government, infiltrating the media and the business world and the military over there. A wave of demonic activity swept the country. People were given testimonies on national television as to how they were helped by this particular 
spiritism, okay? Unfortunately, the evangelical community was ill-equipped to deal with all of this, okay? And as Savoso told me, we had sound doctrine, but we were powerless to combat the demonic forces that were at play. Now, churches had not grown significantly. They have, they have not, I'm sorry. Churches had not grown significantly in decades, okay? Now, it is rumored that when Lopez left the government, he placed a curse on Argentina that resulted in the inhuman atrocities under the role of the military from 1976 to 1981. Now, civil rights back then were unknown, and thousands of people simply disappeared. Does that sound familiar to you guys? Hmm. Okay. They disappeared. Now, known to be have raped, tortured, and brutally murdered, and thrown into secret mass graves, or dumped into the river. Imagine that. Um, then the change came in 1982. What happened in the cosmic realm in 1982, we do not know yet. Hmm, what do they know now? But more than in any other place I know, the most prominent Christian leaders in Argentina, such as Omar, uh, Carlos, Hector Jimenez, and others overtly challenge and curse Satan and his demonic forces both in private prayer and on public platforms actually. The nation as a whole apparently is engaged in a world class power, that, that, that uh, phrase again, power encounter. I want to add this, and it's not here in the book, um, in this particular chapter, but when they talk about Juan Perón and his chief advisor, I don't know why this reminds me of something recently that was announced, and it was, it was, um, I saw it all on YouTube, and it was a particular country that has been given assistance over and over again by the United States and recently I learned that they this particular uh, country um, it wasn't necessarily a chief they, this individual was given as a chief advisor it's a female but and she's allegedly an artist but he put her over the educational system for this particular country that I'm not gonna say as soon as I read this, I thought of, of this particular, these two people, that is something similar. Even though this woman is an artist, people start to show her, um, her work, her art. Um, she's no, um, stranger to the United States either. Um, there's a lot of prominent people who were... Uh, previous uh, presidents and people in legislation that also her name was linked to it's not just this particular individual in his country but as soon as I read this I didn't know this beforehand I thought of this particular country in the recent um, announcement of her being over the educational system for his country Heavenly Father, thank you that you have revealed your love to us today. We invite you to send us out from here in the power of the Holy Spirit. Fan into flame the gifts that you have given us and come reveal your grace and truth to us each day. For yours is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever and ever. Amen. You were just listening to Teachable Moments with April podcast. I truly hope you enjoyed this episode. We invite you to stay connected with us on our other social media platforms such as TikTok, Pinterest, Instagram, Threads, and YouTube. Also, check us out on our official podcast landing page on podpage.com slash teachable moments with April to see all our content in one place.
You can leave messages and give feedback and more.